everyone, I'm Nixie. Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. We are pretty much caught up with everything now as regards to side quests, notorious marks. There's only one which is um, an S rank left, which is going to be a bit of a struggle uh, for us to do at the current level that we're at. So we're going to go ahead and speak to Otto and continue on the main quest after our little run in with Ultima. Something tells me that I saw on the horizon is your doing. How'd you manage that? It's a long story. One that I'd rather only tell once. Right. All hands on deck then. Uh, of course. <laughs> yeah, what battle with Ultima? That was great. Okay, everyone's here. Everyone's here. Byron's here as well. Yes. This, this, everyone. As I'm sure you've all guessed, the crystal which now commands the eastern skies was summoned by Ultima. Mm -hmm. He called it Origin. Now the significance of that name is as yet unclear. What does it matter what it's called? Its emergence tore Twinside asunder and wiped my homeland from the map. Mention of the Dominion Spires can be found in the oldest of Vanistian records. But to the best of my knowledge, none provide any hint as to their true nature. That they would prove the horns of some slumbering demon. Well, the Dominion's demise was at least quick. Elsewhere, the Republican army cannot hope to contain the chaos engulfing Randalar. Canberra is in flames, and the Empire. Our allies are crying out for answers. I've sent the curse breakers to give them what assurances we can, but right now that amounts to fuck all. They wouldn't be able to stop what the skies have started in any case. People here and across the realm grow sicker with every passing day. Could it be that this new Mother Crystal is like the others? That it draws upon the land's ether? It certainly looked that way from stone here. If that were true, it would explain the hastening spread of the blight since the crystal's appearance. Would it not? And as the land's ether slowly rises to the surface, it pools, corrupting all who cannot channel its energies. Arche above, ether floods below, and in the middle, here we languish, hopelessly entrapped. We need a little bit more positivity, guys. It's all right. When we faced him at Stone here, Ultima told us his true power quickens in the halls of origin. Needless to say, it's going to be even tougher. We cannot allow that to continue. Oh God. If we are to stop him, we will have to find a way into the crystal. How are we going to manage that then? It's up in the sky. And fast as she is, the Enterprise can't fly. It's a lot to take in, and I reckon we'd all benefit from some time to clear our heads. The answer will come to us. Don't you worry. Ain't that right, Clive? That's it, I am. Right. That's right. Keeping us all level headed. Bugger off. <laughs> Joshua. Same goes for you, Clive. You won't solve anything like this. Trust me. Go and get some fresh air, right? Okay. Well, at least we've got everyone up to speed as to what is actually happening. But what are we going to do now? Sure seemed upset. He did. Okay. 
Eh. Is it because he doesn't have the answer right now? Can we see it from here? Oh, we can. Yeah, okay, Joshua. Ultima may have created us, but he doesn't make us who we are. Only we can do that. And if he would have us fight for our survival, so be it. It's what we've been doing all along. Mm -hmm. Much like Ultima himself, it would seem. His new world being naught but a means to survive. And so, we must contend to decide which of us shall inherit the land. Should Ultima prevail, it will mean death for us all. Of that, we can be certain. But even should he fail, what world awaits us? With it, godless place, where our newfound freedom will most like prove a chain in itself, well, there may be, but a chain can always be broken, as long as one has the will to break it, it won't be easy, it may take generations, centuries of suffering, and that is if everyone plays their part, but it will happen. And when it does, it will be on our terms. That is the world that awaits us. <laughs> Indeed. And what better world could one wish for? But first, we have to reach that crystal. Then it's a good thing I have wings. <laughs> You can barely stand, let alone fly. And only the founder knows what horrors await in those skies. Are you certain about this? Am I certain? I am the phoenix. But I'm worried about you, Joshua. I will do what I must. This is our fight. Remember. All right. I yield. <laughs> <laughs> but only what you must. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm still your sworn shield. That you are. And what of my wings? Ah, oh, yeah, Dion. Lest you forget, you go to stand against a god. Mm -hmm. I would not have you succumb to fatigue before the fight begins. So is it going to take us up there? If freed. Your brother mentioned that some few of the Dominants who had lost their power to you were still able to prime. Is that true? It is. But their icons no longer submitted to their will. Ah. Then mine will have to be stronger. That you both might save your strength for the battle to come. You don't have to do this. If you do, there's a chance you might lose all you have left. And what have I but regret? I feel like he's gonna die. My life ended in the Dominion. I fear death no more. Besides, I would have words with Ultima. He has much to answer for. Yeah, I kind of, like, Dion's had such a sad story that I feel like he's not going to make it. We are in your debt, Dion. We can speak of debts when this is over. Like him sending his lover off and stuff like that. Like, uh, I don't know. I just want everyone to be like, okay. <laughs> He speaks like a man who knows he's not coming back. And has come to terms with that. That doesn't mean that we have to, does it, Clive? Time to talk to Jill. 
I only hope she understands. Does that mean that he isn't gonna come back? Where is she? Is she in my quarters? Oh god, I'm gonna be so sad if he does die. He's had like such a sad story so far, Oscar. See you uh doing well. Oh, she's out on her little balcony. Come to wish on a star. <sighs> that might not be such a bad idea. This is it, Jill. You know what I have to do. Why I have to do it. There's no turning back now. This is where our journey was leading us. Where it will end, for better or worse. I could pray to Metia for you. But you'll be all right, won't you, Clive? Yeah. You always are. I did promise we'd watch the road together. God, these are so freaking cute waiting. together. Aren't they? They're just freaking adorable. Okay. It's almost time. Better make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Okay, so... Is this going to be, as soon as we get up there, that's going to be it. Um, in the mood. Oh, Karen. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, your poor hound spends all his time of late on the red deck, whimpering like Gab in his clubs. <laughs> Gab! Uh, something I'm right, and my gut tells me it's not to do with this supply of antelope bones. Oh, does he, um... What is it this time, Torgal? Does he need another power-up? maybe yeah i want to do everything if we can before we go up to ultima then um oh vivian uh reluctant as i am to add to your burdens i would actually aid in a personal matter i'll be one that may be beneficial to your cause there exists ancient texts deemed so injurious to modern thought that mere possession is deemed a crime, and it was a chance encounter with one such tome up from a distance that sparked within me the scholastic, scholastic uh, curiosity which uh, burns to this very day. I wish to unleash your aid in uh, reclaiming that text. Should you require further incentive, and know that I'm willing to offer compensation for your services. Sure. Something tells me this is no mere adventure story. Okay. Yeah, I want to like complete all the side quests and everything. Like we've done it thus far, so we may as well like continue to do that. Holy moly. Um Okay, I kind of wasn't expecting this many quests. Um Okay. Okay, let me do the two that we have got for now. Let's just go see what our new um, Joshua has a quest. Huh. Yeah, I want to finish these up. Hopefully, maybe get enough um, um, ingredients to do the upgrade. Ingredients to upgrade maybe the um Ragnarok sword. What are you doing? What are you doing? Here you go. Okay, so Sambrek, which I think is Sambrek where the last uh notorious markets maybe. Uh Lines in the Sand two. Ah, oh, Lubo Duty Undying Cyril. Okay. Cool. Always something in there. And we should be able to get like the. Welcome I think. The but do we have two left to get? Yeah, two left to get. So, 
2328, so we basically need 2900. Come again. I may have more for you. Okay. And yeah, so maybe we'll do these side quests and try and take on that last, last S rank. Um, yeah, maybe. Okay, so. Um, Vivian. Vivian, I read your note, and I'd be happy to help you find the book you're looking for. Thank you, Clive. But tracking it down will not be easy. Are you sure? Yep. Please. You have always granted me your wisdom and insight whenever I asked. It's only right that I return the favor. Or at least attempt to. You are too kind. Alas, what I ask of you is rather more trying than delivering the odd lecture. I spoke with Harpocrates to see if he had any inkling as to where another copy might be found, but... But perhaps it is best that you hear the details from him. If you say so. Forgive me, Clive, for asking this of you. But this book, it set me on the path to becoming who I am today. Its importance cannot be overstated. That's fine. Let's go talk to... You. I keep calling him Tombs because that's how we were introduced to him. So I'm going to continue with Tombs. <laughs> um, let's go and speak to him. God, Dion, I can't... <sighs> He's going to die, isn't he? And that's really sad. If he does. I hope he doesn't. But I'm not saying it up well. Ah, Clive, my boy. What a pleasure it is to see you. And you oh, too. Please. There's something I need to ask you. I've been charged with locating a book called From a Distance. And you seek a rare gem indeed. Mm -hmm. One whose name I had not thought to hear from your lips. You've been talking to Vivian. How did you know? Right, as always. But she didn't seem keen to tell me very much. I take it she didn't like what you had to say. And yet I gather it did not to dissuade her. Clive, if the young professor has tasked you with obtaining a copy, I fear she asks the impossible. The executors would not allow it. The executors? Covetors of Secrets, a clandestine organization committed to the collection and intenebration of forbidden texts and technologies. Is a forbidden text? such text being the tome Vivian seeks, chronicling as it does the true history of the enslavement of bearers. Ah, okay. Which could overturn the established order were it ever to become widely known. Or, so rumor has it, I've never actually read the thing. Or even set eyes on it, for that matter. How is it that I haven't heard of this organization? Why, secrecy is the executor's watchword. They lurk in the shadows, emerging only to seize that which must be seized, be it books, inventions, or people, before disappearing again, leaving Mary a trace. Do you think that would die now? explain why Vivian's copy was snatched from her grasp not long after she found it. Mm. By the hand of the executors, yes. But what drives them? Self-interest or ideology? Fine question. Sadly, all that is known of the executors can be recounted in a single breath. You may just as soon ask me of their origins, numbers, or the identities of their leaders. Any answer I give would be pure speculation. My hunt was doomed from the first. What was Vivian expecting? That I pluck it from thin air? Not from thin air, no. From ash. Uh -huh. Rumors of the executors are rife among the scholars of Storm, but rather less so across the strait. I have a friend. Well, I had a friend in the village of Garnick, a collector of rare tomes upon which subject we would oft correspond. Alas, I have heard naught from him since the skies fell dark. And no doubt he too has turned. But though he did not mention it by name, it is possible 
that a surviving copy of From a Distance yet rests upon one of his many shelves, quietly awaiting discovery. So we're gonna go and raid this home. Were, by some chance, able to save even a single book from the poor man's library. I know his soul would rest easier. Very well. When I next find myself in Walud, I'll be sure to pay Garnick a visit. Okay, let's go there then. Let's have a have a look then. Yeah, we're not going there yet, Jeebus. <laughs> okay, back to Walud then. Um, 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 yeah. Okay, so somewhere in this direction. God, I forgot that it's going to be absolutely full of Akashic things. Do, 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 do. Just that one random dog over there. Cool. Um. Yeah, because we kind of had a little look in this previously, and there was like nothing really here. So I guess this is what it is. Is Joshua with us? No, it's just us. Oh, that's kind of sad. <laughs> oh, I really hope in the end Joshua is going to be like in good health and absolutely fine. Like, please. The entire village looks abandoned. Now, which house would a bookworm live in? I'm going to assume it's the one where the marker is. Cool, potion. Uh, yeah, because there's a bunch of Akashic miners here, so we've probably already killed him. Awkward. Um, let's go have a look. Yeah, I'm assuming it's in this one then, maybe? Can we, like, just take all of the books that look somewhat interesting that Hippocrates might like? Uh, white of the flower, black of the root, the latter of which gives out an inky gal when cut or crushed. The tribesmen of the Northern Storm prick their skin with uh, oaken needles soaked in such, drawing curious patterns about their arms and legs in honour of their heathen gods. Uh, the girl is passing intoxicate um, that a single drop taken by mouth may result in cramps most painful for five days and five nights or if applied to a wound certain death. Should a slip of the needle end a young warrior's life, he is said that his skin printed failed to find favour among the heavens. <laughs> his interests were certainly varied. Uh, the Moogle. Ah, the Moogle. No spirit or sprite appears more often in Valisian folk tales than the humble Moogle. Though they are occasionally painted as mysterious souls akin to pixies or imps, most stories depict them as clumsy yet congenial uh, spirits who delight to help in mankind in their daily labours. They are said to have sweet tears lured into common superstitions that one must not leave cakes or other sweet meats uncovered overnight, at least not from many but crumbs come morning. Uh, in appearance, they are described as being covered head to toe in soft white fur, excepting the small dark wings by which they are somehow able to take flight, and brightly coloured pom poms that protrude from the tops of their heads. And yet, there is one detail regarding the Moogle that most find more remarkable than even the of their tops is brow the fact that the creatures actually exist. Preposterous, I hear you cry. Everybody knows that Moogles are the stuff of legend. I quite agree, but every legend has its basis in truth, and in case of the Moogle, the fact may be not too dissimilar to the fiction. Ancient beasts list the white mole whose feet did not touch the ground among the beasts of the realm, and the illustration besides the name, why it's none other than the Moogle. Of course, it is true that the creatures are not known to still survive in the twins in the modern day. Perhaps their miniature wings carried them to other climes. Uh, perhaps they were hunted to extinction, 
or perhaps just perhaps they do still live among us hidden away from far from human view yeah there's one one back of the hideaway uh from a distance this is it right the fall of the fairies okay so the emergence of the first magic adapts was widely heralded as a gift from the gods indeed the title with which those with the gift came to be commonly known is most likely a contraction of a bearer of the heavenly blessing the burden used by the tribunes of the time those born with the blessing were landed as living crystals and granted high office and plentiful reward for their status as chosen ones over the years this reverence for their kind would become a full-fledged religion led by the bearers themselves the development that would prove fateful the divers nation of the time were unanimous of their disapproval of the founding of the church while the authorities had uh, for years welcomed bearers into positions of power in their structures of state they were mistrusted of an organization led by bearers for bearers efforts were immediately made to chasten the church and its followers banning members from holding office evicting adherents from their homes and breaking up meeting by force the church responded by forming a volunteer army to resist this prosecution and yet it continued creating a cycle of ever increasing bloodshed and rancor and a growing rift between those born with the blessing and those without ah. uh, what began with beatings and street clashes or were eventually spilled over into an all-out world that consumed the greater part of the twins but now generation and de 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 decimated oh, jesus decimated the population of men and bears both their deluge of blood that stained the land crimson and left an even more lasting mark upon the minds of the valisian people after the bears last resistance was crushed the nations of valisia came together to sign the continental accord that initiated the systems of slavery that persists across the realm to this day it's well known phrase bears are other than human has its root in the bitter war of these years before being um being the unblessed only excuse for their cal calamitous refusal to allow the blessed to decide their own destinies this is it oh but if what it says is true i need to get this back to the hideaway yes you do uh training report in the wake of the tragic fire the care Norvent in 873 and the subsequent depletion of our most highly practiced intelligences all mainland strongholds were instructed to redouble training in clans cladestein maneuvers improvised weaponry and assassination techniques and dispatched promising volunteers to stone here for inspection this report details uh, progress made by the stronghold at Garnick in uh, reinvigorating uh, Wulud's ranks of esteemed intelligences. Do you think the um, do you think someone's gonna pop out to be like, "Hey, what are you doing with that book?" Um, and try and take it off us. Leaving so soon, stranger. Knew it. We've been watching you. Knew it. From a distance, so to speak. Subtle. <laughs> I know who you are. And we need not waste time on introductions. Yeah. Knew it. Knew someone would turn up. It Leave couldn't it have been that easy. Turn to your life. Your care. Do you mean to burn it or bury it? That is not my decision to make. Mm -hmm. But by one means or another, its contents shall be removed from the common record. Why? Then I'll have to politely refuse. I won't let you erase our history. Then we find ourselves at an impasse. Looks like we do. Well. The book can just as easily be pried from your dead hand. Maybe so, but is the getting me to die part that's going to be the hardest bit? Let's see, shall we? You don't scare me, big boy. Ow. Ah, oh, God, let me do my thing. Ow. 
Hey then. Hey ya. Hey go. Have another one. And what about one of these? Ding 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 ding. Do this one. Ow. Yeah, it takes so long to do this one. Ow. <laughs> I just want to do it. Have one of these instead, you dick. I should do it, yeah. Where's that guy? Has he run off? Impressive. But we have other means. We shall claim the book yet. No, I don't Why think do you so. want it so badly anyway? It lays out in no uncertain terms the vanity and avarice of mankind. Yeah. It tells the shameful history of the persecution and oppression of a gifted few. Giftless many. Yeah. Would you say that this interpretation was correct? I don't know. You don't know. Your sword may be sharp, but your wits are dull. So let me answer for you. There is no correct interpretation of history. That a series of events took place may be proved beyond a doubt. But there can be no single, immutable explanation. As to why they came to pass. Yeah, but you need to give them all the... It is the... a question of numbers and of belief. If enough people believe that a set of events occurred for a reason, that belief becomes the truth. So you're trying to control the truth? Yeah. We are trying to protect people from themselves, from knowledge that would bring them naught but pain. I think they that deserve to know, though. You may keep the book. For now, the world is small. We shall meet again. But without. Wait. Is he gone? Damn it. Let's get this back to Vivian. Perhaps she can explain what that was all about. I think that, that they should now. Um, and they can choose to, like know about it or not but um yeah i think that you should be able to give people all the information that you have and then they can form their opinions on everything not just what you want them to see um okay let's go speak to zavivian give her this little book i'm sure teams would very much like to see this as well Vivian, I found it, the book you lost. We did, there you go. He 
you. You found it. Yep. Thank you, Clive. You are welcome. Even though I asked this of you, I was not entirely sure it would be possible. I fear the executors had seized every copy. I met with one of these executors, and I convinced him to let me keep it. He told me something. That the truth is just a matter of collective belief. And that if enough people believe a lie, that lie becomes the truth. It does. But it also means that the truth is not immutable. That it can be changed. Provided that those who wish to change it can convince enough people that their perspective is the correct one. As the sad history of the bearers proves. You said that the book inspired you to become a scholar. It did. Or its author, rather. She was a heretic, you see. A firebrand and a dissenter. A gallows stood ready for her in every corner of the realm. And by shunning society, or perhaps being shunned by it, she stumbled upon a truth so potent that an entire realm trembled at the prospect of its utterance. I, too, have always felt somehow set apart from the world of men. A stranger to my own species. She taught me that my solitude was not a curse, but a gift. And that, though my journey to the truth might be a lonely one, what I found at my destination would be more than worth the cost. Do you still feel that way? That you're not... one of us? Honestly? I'm not entirely sure anymore. Since coming to the hideaway, I find my thinking somewhat... clouded. Perhaps the result of studying mankind from a rather... closer perspective than I had intended. The more I study, the more I find value in this perspective. In looking not from the outside, but from within. So if you'll permit me, I'd like to continue my work here. Remember, Clive, when enough people believe, belief begets truth. Give the men and women of this benighted world the gift of truth. Make them believe in you. As I do. I'll try, Vivian. I'll try. You can do it, Clive. Quest complete. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. Scholar's bonnet. Ah, oh, is this to go in Clive's chambers? Yeah, Vivian's Nine Tails Scholarly Headwear. Awarded to her upon completion of her studies at the University of Canberra. Give the men and women of this benighted world the gift of truth. Make them believe in you as I do. Aww. I think now in these... Um, uh, we've, there's more? There's more? That is an A rank, the Wailing Banshee in Volude. Curse Breakers came across this creature while searching for survivors near the abandoned village of Garnet. Oh, we've just been there. Misled by the abominations appearance into thinking she might be a local woman, they went to offer their help, but soon it was they who were seeking salvation. The, the survivors say they can still hear the screams of both those of the weight, uh, light and those of their fallen comrades. Okay. Let's go see Toggle though. Yeah, I think now because we had um we've got quite a lot of um like space left on Clive's walls and because we've been doing everything um that we possibly can so far. Where is he? Through here. Um, I think now, like, possibly these side quests are going to give us all, uh, like, a little memory thing to go on a wall. Togo, what's happening? Why are you having a crisis? I need for something, boy. What is, what is it? 
Do you see out there? What do you want? I never did ask where you got that anklet of yours. From Said, that's why. Yeah. On the day brought him home. How long ago? And you're only thinking to ask this now? <laughs> Sid saw that the pup had a habit of gnawing on his leg, since you ask. Mm -hmm. Clap that there iron on him to keep him from doing it. What was wrong, boy? Heartache, like as not. Must have been hard on the poor whelp losing his loving masters at such a young age. Probably mm -hmm. hard him being a frost wolf, torn away from his icons and all. Sid would always tell him, you want my iron gone? You find what it is you're looking for. I reckon what you were looking for was you. Oh God, break my heart. Sorry for making you wait so long. Let's get that thing off you. <laughs> Doesn't sound like he wants it off. No. Indeed. <laughs> You miss it as much as the rest of us, don't you? Aww. Do you want to go visit him? I need to go with you somewhere. Do you want to visit him? Visit his grave? Really? Quick, can't you? Glad you've been paying attention. Not nearly as much as you have, Lady Karen. Aye, good thing and all. It's not like Gav would have kept him in nuts and wound his belly these past ten summers. Your kindness is appreciated. You've been a good friend to him. You have. Only because he doesn't talk about like the rest of you. <laughs> Go on now. She's such a character, isn't she? Me too, then, Toggle. Yeah, does he... Yeah, does he want to maybe go and visit Clive? I'm not sure. Right, Toggle. Where are you taking me? Where do you want to come? Don't cry, break my heart! I'm going to need a little bit more than that, boy. <laughs> do you have a better hint for me? Given me one. Back on the rear deck, you were looking west toward Rosaria. Why don't we try the rockery? We're not gonna like leave him somewhere, have we? I haven't been to the island in almost 20 years. The port is older then. Okay. Fingers crossed the old mooring is still there. Okay. So, what is that? Um, yeah, hopefully he's like, doesn't want to go off and start a family or something, or like, he wants to be left behind somewhere, because I think, yeah, I don't want that to happen. Here, here, Togo. Is this what you'd like? There's a chest here. Okay, we're gonna go sail out somewhere. Oh, we're going on a little date with Togo. Little rowboat date. It's still here. After all these years. Everybody? That's more than I remember. And you're a lot bigger. You might have to swim, boy. Nah, no, it'll be fine. <laughs> I wasn't being serious. Okay. Cute. Did we just crash into the side? <laughs> Okay, take the lead, Torgo. This place hasn't changed at all. Mist. Look right through those trees. Come on. Uh, Is she there? I bet I can still beat you. 
do you think we're gonna get a little memento from Togo to go on our wall? Oh, it's like a little tree house. Well, a very big tree house. Here we are. This was our hideaway. Wasn't it, Togo? Is there something here or did you just want to visit Togo? Something missing? Oh. Oh my god, baby Togo! Coming here helped me to forget who I was or wasn't. Prince, Shield, son his mother could love. Could I have been any one of those things? Perhaps. <laughs> what is it, boy? Old armor? This is all from the castle. And Phoenix Gate. Is it Rodney? Strong? It you bring these here. Or is it his dad's? Thailand, maybe? Oh, his boring sword. Oh. God, Toggle is oh, well. so freaking cute. You never stopped looking for me, did you, boy? Thank you. For never giving up. For never forgetting. Let's take this with us, shall we? So I don't forget either. Oh my god, Togo! This is so cute! You absolutely adorable animal! That's not the way back to the boat, Togo. He's like, yeah, I'm not done yet. Alright, alright. I'm coming. That's so freaking cute! Oh, I love him so much. Oh, the view of the castle and everything. talk about the importance of putting the past behind you but without him we wouldn't be who we are today it's very true we certainly couldn't steer our way to a better tomorrow come on Togo let's go home Togo you're absolutely adorable little creature oh my god best quest yet Uh, Clyde's old sparring sword, salvaged by a faithful friend in the aftermath of the Iron Blood Invasion in 18 when it's passed. Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon, Rodney. Ah, oh, Toggle, you adorable freaking thing. Um, increases Toggle attack potency. Cool. Oh, I love him. That was adorable. That was so freaking adorable. Toggle. 
You deserve all the trees, belly rubs, anything that you want. I would die for you. That was so adorable. I can't. I freaking can't. That kind of hurt my heart a little as well. Okay. That was so freaking cute. Um, let's just go read the things in our um bunch of mobile. Okay, let's have a look. Um, and we've got another new quest. Ah, Hippocrates. I have a the of matters of much greater importance for which demand your attention, but should you find yourself in Bemen, I bid you visit me in the shell so I might ask a single favour concerning His Highness, Prince Dion. Yes, absolutely. It's usually me making demands of Hippocrates. I wonder what this is about. Right? A tale to tell. Interesting. Um, let's see. Hold again. Oh, uh. Uh, Vivian, it occurs to me that a single word of thanks does not nearly suffice to express my gratitude for re reuniting me with it from a distance. The term made me who I am today, and yet I thought that I should never set eyes upon it again. That those who took it from me had forever robbed me of a part of myself, but now I am whole again. Thanks to you, I regret that I can only fill in the gaps in your knowledge and not the holes in your soul. For which reason I shall ever be in your debt. Um, Karen, uh, the two of you have been together for what probably feels like a lifetime now, but there is still a lot you have to learn about that hound of yours. I he'd step in front of a bloody raging behemoth if it, it meant protecting you. He he's already protected me a lot. Um but that don't mean that you should take it for granted. At the end of the day he's a hound and sometimes he just wants someone to pat his head and rub his belly and give him a handful of coupon lots. You'd do good to remember that. I will give him everything, Karen. He can have everything. Cause he's such an adorable guy okay so yeah we've got quite a what well, we're missing two four six eight ten eleven eleven things there's our sword um and the bonnet i love this like aspect this like the wall of memories is so nice Okay, let's go speak to Hippocrates then, see what he has to say. Yeah, this must be like the last lot of like side quests popping up now. Um, because we are at like end game. I think once we head to the new crystal, um, that that's probably a no returning point in the game. So, I do want to like wrap everything up. Osman Hippocrates, I received your note. Ah, yes. You're wondering what this is all about. Yes, actually. You spoke of making amends with Dion. But I can't imagine what for. Then I should begin by telling you that I was once his tutor. Were you? This was some years ago, of course. Before I joined Sid in his hideaway. Yeah. At that time, I was counted among the foremost scholars of Oriflam. And was accordingly invited to the palace. To supervise the young prince's education. All to ensure that the future emperor had a firm grounding in, well, everything an emperor should. History, religion, commerce, government. Alas, our time together was cut short when Dion left to join the Dragoons. His studies no longer being deemed necessary. I had not expected to meet with him again, least of all here. Have you spoken with him? No, I... <laughs> I have yet to find the right moment. His Highness always seems so preoccupied, especially when alone. I would not wish to disturb his ruminations with idle words of greeting. Not when I know he dwells upon the evil Ultima had him commit in the Dominion. The guilt weighs heavily on him, I know. I bet he depreciates some that words from you now. Surely you can't blame yourself. Right? Yeah. When I first met him, it was not guilt. But his people's expectations that weighed heavily upon him. 
And I did nothing to ease that burden. He bore it alone. Until the day he could not bear it any longer. It is one of my greatest regrets that I only ever offered him my wisdom when what he truly needed was friendship. The blame for Dion's transgressions lies not only on his shoulders, but on mine. I see. I'm ready to help you in any way that I can. Then I beg that you bring me a wild wyvern tale. Random. across the ages agree that even to glimpse such a flower is to be granted inner solace. Fabulists and frauds does all, of course. <laughs> but there is oft a seed of truth to be found where even the most outlandish opinions align. Well, it can't hurt to try. Where can I find this flower? How will I know it? You have seen cultivated wyvern tales before, I trust. The lily-white blossoms from whose roots the poisonous ink for the brand is distilled. Well, those which grow in the wild differ only in their purple hue. The harsher the environment in which they are raised, the deeper the color. There is a waterfall in Rickmal's roost across the strait, where the flowers once grew in abundance. Whether they still survive there, I know not. But try as I might, I can find no likelier location. Okay. It's all right. I'll find you a wife and tail one way or another. Thank you, Clive. And please, be safe. I shall... I can't guarantee that I'll be safe, but I shall try to be. Okay, let's see if we can find it then. Um, Where are we going? Yeah, we haven't really had any like side quests in um, Wulud really, so I expect that we're going to have quite a few. God, it's miles away. Hippocrates. Miles away. Actually, can we fast travel any closer? No, not really. Okay. Purple flowers blooming next to a waterfall. Ow! Could be too hard to find. Yeah. Um, we're gonna have to take this on, yeah. Okay, yeah. Bring it down. Dodge it, dodge it out. Wait. Just heard it. Eat shit. I suppose. Exactly. Maybe they can grow them at the thing if they need to, want to. 
Okay, let's head back to the hideaway. Let's go get these to tombs. Hopefully Dion will like them. Let's go have a look. Here you go. Osman, I found the flowers you were looking for. You did? I did. I think I did. <laughs> Is this it? Indeed. My dear boy, thank you. You wanted to make Dion a gift of one, did you not? Shall I invite him to join us? Oh, uh, I don't. It's no trouble. I'll go and fetch him. Yes. Let's go get him. Oh, Dion! This will probably like cheer him up as well. Hey, Dion. Do you have a minute? It looks really sad. Would you do me the honor of accompanying me? No. It is time for that. No. Only to the shelves. Our lawsman has something he'd like to give you. Master Harpocrates. No. I dare not show my face before him. What? Why? Not after everything I have done. Ah, oh, no. Come on, he wants to see you, Dion. I have taken countless innocent lives. And ruined countless more. No. All because I was weak. No, Dion. No, 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 no. I have sworn to atone for my crimes or die in the attempt. No. But were I to meet with him again, and see in his eyes what I have become. I fear that my resolve might falter. And that is all the more reason to do it. Test your resolve. Prove to yourself and to him how strong it truly is. You are right. Yes. I must at the very least offer him my gratitude. Very well then. To him. Follow me. Oh god, Dion's oh god, he's like arcing this is so sad. He's gonna die in me. I'm gonna be devastated. hesitate to approach him. What must he think of me? Oh dear. You'd be surprised. To Harpocrates. Pray. Accept my apologies for leaving your tutelage before my studies were complete. Your lessons opened my mind to a world quite unlike the one I had imagined from within the gilded confines of the past. And I shall be forever grateful for the efforts you made to enlighten me. Lift up your head, your highness. The deeds of use require no apology. That you took the time to visit me says much about the man you have become. Now, there is something I would like to show you. Is that a wyvern tale? 
Lure is unfamiliar to me. Because it is unique to those found in the wild. Something in the harsh environment in which they grow lends them this striking hue. Their roots are indistinguishable from those of their hothouse cousins, but once they bloom, the difference is immediately apparent. In this flower, I see you, your highness. Its roots were the roots of a wyvern tail, with all that implies. But they do not define it, just as yours do not define you to have it, that it might remind you of this truth. Master Harpocrates, I would ask of your service. Keep your gift, until I have fulfilled my duty to the realm, for only then shall I be deserving of it. As you wish, Your Highness. I shall await your return. He's not gonna come back, is he? Our roots do not define us. No wonder my stepmother didn't like him. <laughs> Reuniting me with memories I had thought long lost. I shall not forget this. All in the hideaways to their liking. Why? These flowers bloomed in the bleak, black wastes of Walud. I'm sure Nigel's yard will suit them to a tea. Mm. When it comes to expressing one's gratitude, I find that words are seldom sufficient. Here. What's this? Stolas quill. Or more precisely, my Stolas quill. It is said that an owl's feathers are steeped in the wishes it hears over its long lifetime. All those words just waiting to pour out onto the page. So consider this my wish for you. That one day you may put down your sword and pick up that pen. When that day comes, I'll certainly have a lot to write about. Thank you, Harpocrates. It shall have pride of place in my chamber. Guys, I'm getting really sad that we're getting all these like little mementos of people because he's like just driving at home that we're like getting to the end of the game. Lozman Hippocrates best loved writing implement whose nib has scribbled many a learned tome. It is said that an hour's feather was are steeped in the wishes it hears over life long time. A uh, long lifetime. All those words just waiting to pour out onto the page. Oh god. And then Dion's oh. Uh reduces giga player cooldown by six seconds. Well, we haven't got that yet. I don't think. I think that's his, like, ultimate move, right? 
Yeah, I'm getting so sad that like we're, we're getting to like the end of the game. Like, it's felt like such a journey. We have 1100 ability points. Yeah, is this Gigafly? Yeah. Um. Okay. Um, I think what I want to do, um, is something that isn't sad. <laughs> um, I think let's go, um, back to this place and see then if, um, we can find this Banshee thing then. They're the... Somewhere near here. Maybe it's in the village. He said nah. Just passing through, don't mind me. I don't wanna fight, thank you. Um Yeah, maybe the banshee is back in here. Or is it that flying around? No. Not interested. That, um, Virgin my Bob's still over there. Yeah, do you think the Banshee's in here? I need to do something that isn't going to be emotional, guys. Ah, uh, maybe not. Ah. Ah, it's a, like a Garuda thing. Interesting, is this going to be like right then? On. Okay. Okay. Ow. Wrong thing. Ow. Okay. 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 Level 41, like realistically this should have been like insanely difficult for us. Bring it down. And then Oh, that's so hard to like land. No, the dick. Okay. Too It's so hard to like Latin sometimes. Oh my, too late on me dodge. Ow. 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 And I don't Managed to dodge. Bring 
Run time in again. God damn it. Can we get us? Yes. Hi, Dilly. Okay. I wasn't very smart in that one. <laughs> Let's try again. what happened there. Okay. Not what I wanted to do. I'm on the wrong thing. Okay, we got a stagger. Okay. 
Here we go. Yes. Ah, there we go. We did that. The Terry's Box Slave, finally! Do we have enough now to like run out? Ah, oh, and we leveled up. What are we, 49? 48, 7? Oh god, I thought it was higher than that. How did I cool? Didn't really need that. But at least we've done that. Um, okay, let's make our way back to the hideaway. Any missive? Okay, again in the cloud chambers. Um, can we get oh no, we haven't oh yeah, we can do this. So I think we've got, just got that um S rank. There's a level fifty. I think it would be a massive struggle, but hopefully maybe we'll be a little bit closer by the time we've done all these other like side quests. Maybe Is everything we've received and everything promised. If the drinking guardy captain I shared a table with last night is to be believed, a word of your exploit has made its way across the seas to the great con continent. What is more, she claims there are those who would see you flourish herself being one such woman. Gareth. Okay, so what are these Genji quotes? Thanks. So. Come again. I may have more for ya. Cool. So yeah, what are, what are these, what are these, what are these? Genji Corps. Increases damage dealt to en enemies by 5%. Um, okay. The island warriors of the Far East are said to claim a piece of the armor of a slain soldier following battle, wearing it over their own until the next encounter. At which time they finally remove it. The warriors believe that the spirit of the fallen foe will now lend them their strength. Okay, cool. So we're gonna get a little um, missive from Hippocrates Tomes. Oh god damn. Seriously, I'm gonna be so sad like if he actually does die. I'm not gonna be happy guys. I just wanted him to be happy. Okay, uh before we would depart. Dion, Ifrit, uh you have my sincerest gratitude for reuniting me with Master Hippocrates. That I might embark upon this most important of journeys, my heart free of regret. Though in these past few moons I have come to realise that the longer I spend in the company of you and your brother, the deeper I find myself in your debt. We must swiftly see to the menace that is ultimate, if not to save the world, to save me from an, et an eternity of recompense. Dion, you don't owe me anything. Socrates, do. <laughs> uh, thank you, Clive, for ever indulging the moons of this doddering old soul. I am ashamed that for far too many years I allowed stubbornness and fear to keep me from something so simple as letting a friend know how proud I was of him. Your intervention has lifted a heavy power from my heart. Perhaps upon your triumph return from the skies, you might be inclined to set to page that called I gifted you. Uh, there are many of us who would hear a first hand account of your time with the Holy Prince, myself included. Ah, oh, guys, 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 guys. Okay, so I think I am going to leave this episode here. We managed to clear off another Notorious Mark. Didn't get anything that we needed for the Ragnarok upgrade, but oh well. Um, so, yeah, in our next episode, we have a lot of side quests, a lot more than what I was anticipating. Um, so, yeah, we've got these six here, but we still also have um Lubo to deal with as well so there's an extra two there we've got another one up here I don't think we've got any more in Walud as of yet um so yeah I think we're just going to carry on I want to clear these side quests first before we go ahead and get into the sky because I feel like that that is a no return point uh no turning back point in the game um so yeah i hope you guys are enjoying this series that was kind of like an emotional like episode i'm not gonna lie um that kind of hurt my heart hurt my heart in places 
Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to leave this one here. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It would really help out the channel. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.